Now, sports right here on News 11. Well, a special night on the soccer pitch in Yuma on Tuesday. Both men's and women's soccer teams got the chance to close the door and clinch regular season titles in the ACCAC with the Pima Aztecs in town. The women looking to continue their perfect season while the men hanging on a thread for a second straight conference crown. And we start on the men's side of things. Coach Kenny Dale and the His Matadors ready to rock in this one. We pick this up in the second half, tied at two after each team traded goals early in the first 18 minutes and now just past the 50th minute mark. Matadors threatening the cross by Nazumo Kaime and Shoki Yoshida just out of reach, the follow by Logan Allard stuffed by the keeper and over the end line moments later. It's Yoshida with the give and go down the sideline. He's gonna gain some speed and get down the sideline. He centers it, but it's knocked away by Pima, cleared out by the Aztecs once again to stop the Matador threat. Then past the 65th minute, it's Terry Makadika hurdling a defender into space, ripping one outside the box. It squirts away from Christian Satin, the goalkeeper, but he recovers in time to save it. Still tied at two moments later. Peter Yarrow now on the move, centers it beautifully and flying in comes Yoshido, but it ricochets off his shin over the crossbar. Matador still trying to cash it. Now final seconds of regulation. Pima with a chance off the foot of Ernesto Orsonio, but it's over the crossbar and that would do it for regulation. Final seconds tick off, we go to overtime. We just can't give up a counterattack goal. One goal wins the game. One goal wins the game. There's Kenny Dale, the pre-overtime words. One goal wins the game. Here we go. Ball's loose. Yarrow's on top of it. Using the speed down the sideline. Doing a little shimmy shimmy. Trying to center it. Gets knocked down. Put the ball's over the end line. And it would set up this corner kick right here. Caio De Silva Teixeira delivers it. Off the chest of Yoki Yoshida. In the boot. Back of the net. Game. Set. Match. There's your game winner. The celebration ensues. The Matadors win in dramatic fashion. And that's a cap to the regular season title in the regular season finale. And here's Coach Kenny Dale after the win. Peter forced a corner there at the end, and Shoki finished it off. And champions forever. Yeah, we're really excited. It was exciting when we all saw it go in. That was it because it's golden goal, so it's over at that point. It's, I think it's a great way to end games, even when I'm on the other side. The drama of a golden goal is really, really amazing, uh, up or down. So I, I was really pleased with Shoki and, uh, you know, all the other guys that put in such a lot of effort today. There we go. The Matadors now regular season conference champions in back-to-back -back seasons. Off the heels of that national title run last year, we'll see if they can get back. They will now host the Region 1 final next Friday at home uh, uh, at Matador Soccer Field. Well, now after the celebration handled, we go to the women's side with another title in sight for the Matadors. Coach Ivan Dizdar and the Lady Mats ready to roll. Matadors would threaten early on. Here's Jada Centennial receiving the pass. She's going to split the defenders. Here, using the speed, and it takes a rip well outside the box, but can't get enough on it. Doesn't get up off the ground, rolls left of the post. A few moments later, Victoria Clark, the San Luis native, the nasty cross to get outside, centers it up, but it's cleared out by the Aztecs to weather the storm again. But the Mats kept pushing. Mia Grigjevic to the sideline, to Sienna Thomas, and the quick give and go to Lindsay Meza, and then back to Thomas. Over here, and she gets around the box. She's going to send it, but up over the crossbar. Just missed it. Still tied nil-nil. But in just the eighth minute, a little back and forth. There's Clark to Thomas. She sends it back a couple of feet. It heads back on over to Clark, and she's going to make a move and rip it. And she calls top shelf. Hits the top left corner. An incredible goal. Her 13th on the year, maybe the best of the year. The Matadors lead 1-0. Pima would not get many chances in the first half except for right here. A free kick from Mari Mary Acosta uh, hits a block of yellow wall right back to her, but her shot sails well over the crossbar. The Matadors would keep Pima scoreless the rest of the way behind the goalkeeping of Tia Kelk in that defensive back line. They would add one more in the 77th minute by Thomas to cruise to a 2-0 win, clinching the ACCAC regular season title with a perfect record of 13-0. They will also host the Region 1 final at Matador Field next Friday night for a chance to reach the national tournament. That's all the time we have for sports. Both teams 
AWC men's and women's taking it home.